वेलकाम टू माई उइकलि मार्केट राउंड आप फार्स डिसेम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन आई एम सागर नंदी द डिजाइनर एंड डेभलपार अफ किऊ ट्रेडिंग सिसटेम्स एंड टेक्निक्स आई यूज टू वार्क इन आई टी मोस्टलि इन सिंगापुर नाउ आई हेव रिटायर्ड एंड आई एम लिविंग इन थाइलैंड आई सुइंग ट्रेड स्टक्स एंड समटाइम्स स्टक अपशन यू मे कन्टैक्ट मि यूजिंग माई इमेल आई डी ट्रेडिंग प्रफिटेबलि at gmail.com regularly i share stock analysis using live market in my traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on the twitter page twitter.com/sagarnandi i also share regular videos in my youtube channel trading profitably all of this are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them i go through the disclaimer first this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques i use the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading past performance is no guarantee of future return I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual in today's topics, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. then i will try to identify potential trades using complete 360 degrees analysis that is trades where the market sector industry fundamental and technical forces are aligned that was the last slide of the presentation now i will continue with live system beginning my commodities analysis with US oil ETF USO I'm looking at it using the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template together i call this at a glance template because using this single weekly daily chart template you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds one week ago price closed at this point at that time in the weekly market round up i explained that price was inside a range right in the middle of the range the range bound by resistance trend line at the top and support trend line at the bottom that was true for the daily chart and that was true also for the weekly chart price closed right in the middle of the range looking at that in the last market round up i suggested staying away from taking any new swing trade this week initially price moved sideways and then it dropped heavily on friday now price is at the lower edge of the sideways range if price goes up from here on monday you may look for a low risk buying opportunity probably using the fine tune real time chart template on the other hand if price continues to drop from here you may stand aside don't take any short trade right now because the stop loss will be far away gold etf gld it was underperforming the market for a long time shown by the relative performance tilting down will it change next week we will see in the weekly chart for 3 weeks price is creating a base it is also at this watermark pivot level which acted as resistance earlier and now the same pivot level may act as support 
in the daily chart also price came to this watermark pivot level tried to go down two times on Friday closed just above that on Friday it also broke out of the resistance memory trend line looking at the breakout of the trend line and the watermark pivot support levels in the weekly as well as the daily charts it seems that the next likely move of gold will be to the upside there is no Q long trade setup in gold ETF right now however you might start to look at gold mining stocks and see if you could find a buying opportunity there on Friday during market hours I shared a possible buying opportunity in a gold mining stock I shared that in my traders forum let me explain that setup to you this is the traders forum sagarnandi.com I shared an idea on a gold miner on Friday let's have a look at that this was the post shared on 29th November Friday at 11 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time if you wanted to buy a gold miner you might buy this one SS RM and as usual I attached the 360 degrees analysis snapshots this is what I saw at that time the industry gold mining industry was weaker earlier it was in magenta color in the industry scorecard and heat map and just on Friday it turned cyan and it was one of the best performing industries you can know that from the bold case of the score industry was strong that allowed us to buy a stock in gold mining industry which stock to buy I found this stock SSRM that is SSR mining when I shared the post it was up 2.4 percent the stock has medium valuation neither overvalued nor undervalued it has a short squeeze potential high earnings growth positive and accelerating earnings growth in the latest quarter and also positive revenue growth in the last quarters fundamentally the stock was strong the last step would be to look for a technical buy point on SSRM in the weekly chart it has a bullish shape bullish color candle after the prior drop it was creating a base for a long time and just this week it went up strongly in the daily chart it was creating a base at this point it created a double bottom false downside breakout and since then went up previous week it was inside a triangle pattern bound by resistance and support trend lines on Friday it broke out of the triangle pattern closed above the resistance trend line this gave a possible breakout long candidate on Friday the stock is in gold mining industry that strengthened on Friday and fundamentally also the stock looks strong this is what I call a 360 degrees trading opportunity where you have the industry strength fundamental strength and technical strength all aligned together after commodities analysis I continue with the market analysis this is the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis that I carry out this is S&P 500 ETF SPY one week ago there was an intensive shape candle in the weekly chart price was already overbought at that time 
there was a chance of price dropping after displaying the indecisive shape candle. However, that didn't happen. Price went up further. In the weekly, price remains overbought. In the daily, after displaying the headwind reversal signal, price went up almost in a straight line. It displayed a possible reversal signal earlier and then again another one on this Friday. There is a memory trend line support at this price point. If you are holding a long position, there is no need to exit the long position. You may probably apply a trailing stop just below the trend line support. Price is overbought now above the upper boundary level. If you didn't already take a long position, it may be too extended to take a long position now. And there is no short trade setup at this point. NASDAQ 100 ETF QQQ. This chart is very similar to that of SPY. An indecisive shape candle one week ago. This week price went up further. In the weekly price is overbought. In the daily price is at the upper boundary level. Price is supported by support trend line. Displayed a possible reversal headwind signal. Similar to SPY, if you are holding a long position, you may apply a trailing stop just below the trend line support. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA Again, an indecisive shape candle one week ago. This week, price went up somewhat. The relative performance is showing that overall it is underperforming the market. In the daily chart, once again, it displayed a possible reversal signal on Friday. There is a trend line support nearby. There is no need to exit any long position. You may apply a trailing stop just below the support trend line. Price is at the upper boundary level. That is too extended to take any new long trade right now. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. Once again, an indecisive shape candle one week ago. This week, price went up further. It broke above the watermark pivot resistance level in the weekly chart. In the daily also, it broke above the watermark pivot resistance. Went to the upper boundary level. On Friday, price dropped and it displayed a bear release signal. Price is in an uptrend, there is no short trading opportunity and it is too close to the upper boundary level to take any long trade right now. That completes the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis, the market level analysis. What did I say? One week ago, I saw indecisive shape candle in multiple ETFs. I expressed caution because price was overbought and then it displayed in this ship shape candle. At the same time, I mentioned that there was no shorting opportunity because all the ETFs were bullish. I suggested looking for a list of stocks that could fall down shorting candidates if the market turned lower. Market didn't turn lower, it went up. Therefore, if you had any long position, you would continue to hold them, at least partial position. On Friday, multiple ETFs, actually three of the four market ETFs displayed the headwind possible reversal signal. Again, there is no shorting opportunity. However, looking at the headwind signals, if you had any existing long position, you would apply trailing stop so that in case the market turns lower your profit doesn't erode. When the market is going up I tend to prefer taking bullish trades. That is what was happening in the past several weeks and if you followed the 
trading ideas that I shared in my traders forum, most of the trades would be in the long direction. Let me review two of those trades. One was on CERN. This was the post that I shared 16 days ago. Initially shared it 16 days ago, November 15. This was the 360 degrees analysis at that time. Sun's industry, healthcare technology turned into strength from weakness. The scorecard color changed from magenta to cyan. At that time, I saw that the stock had earnings growth as well as revenue growth in the quarterly periods as well as in the yearly periods. Valuation was in the middle and when I shared it on that day, price was going up. Fundamentally, the stock allowed me to take a long position. Technically, in the weekly chart, price was supported by long term support trend line and the weekly color turned bullish. In the daily, after displaying a headwind reversal signal, price was moving sideways. It was inside a triangle pattern and right on that day, it broke out of the triangle pattern, broke out of the resistance trend line giving a possible breakout long candidate. This is what I shared on 15th November. How is the stock now? This is CERN as of today. I shared the long trading idea on this day. As price went up and hit the upper boundary level, that was the initial profit target, I exited partial position and I am holding on to the remaining position with trailing stop trying to let profit run. Where is my trailing stop? That is decided by the Q protection signal. I have set up all the Q chart templates on the menu bar. Simply clicking on the menu bar, I can bring out a new chart template. And this is the Q protection signal. The magenta dots represent the stop for a long position. So right now my stop is at this point. Entry price was here. Therefore even if the stop is here, I will have a profit in the remaining position. And if the stock continues to go up, I will have more and more profit in the remaining position. That is how I try to take some money off the table, book profit on partial position when the initial profit target is here and then keep partial position in the market with trailing stop trying to let profit run. Another bullish trade idea that I shared earlier, I would like to review that, that was on CNC. This was the post. I shared the initial post 24 days ago on November 7th. This is how the 360 degree snapshots looked at that time. The industry became strong on that day. It was one of the best performing industries, managed healthcare. I found this stock CNC. It was up by 3.2% when I shared the idea. Was an undervalued stock with earnings growth as well as revenue growth. Fundamentally, the stock certainly allowed me to take a bullish position. I would wait for a bullish setup on the technical charts and this is what I saw on the technical charts. After displaying the headwind reversal signal in the weekly chart, price was going up. At the right edge, the weekly candle color and shape, both were bullish. In the daily, price was going up. It gapped up at this point, then pulled back and it started to go up right on that day. I suggested taking a long position if the daily candle turned cyan 
and I expected it to close above the white direction line at that time. That would keep the closing price above the yellow as well as the white direction line. This is what I shared using live market analysis. Let's look at the chart as of today. CNC. CNC as of today, I shared the bullish idea on this day. That day indeed closed with a bullish color, cyan color candle and also price closed above the white direction line just as I expected. The entry price would be at the close of the day. After that price went up, covered much more than the risk distance. What was the risk distance? Risk distance was the distance between the entry price and the stop level. So this was the risk distance. As price went up on this day, the trade had more profit than the risk taken and I booked partial position profit at that time. And I am holding on to the remaining position with a trailing stop trying to let profit run. The market level showed that it is remaining bullish however the headwind reversal signals that came on Friday alerted us to apply trailing stop in any existing long position we might have and I demonstrated two stocks where I booked partial profit and where I applied trailing stop as of Friday to protect profit on the remaining position. Now I continue with the next level of the 360 degrees analysis that is the sector level analysis. Looking at one month sector performance I can see that it strengthened from one week ago. One week ago that is the green bars only one sector was up and 10 sectors were drowned and this week it reversed 10 sectors are up and one sector is down. The sectors that are up are up by significant percentage points and only one sector is down that is energy. Consumer discretionary is the best performing sector followed by materials. Both are non-defensive sectors. This sector graph is showing clear bullishness over the weekly period that is over last five days remember this week was a four trading days week how about this graph is showing performance over last five days considering last five days the picture is clearly bullish as i showed on the market etf charts on friday three of the four market etfs displayed possible reversal signal, headwind signal. And the weakness of Friday is visible at the sector level as well. This is the real-time sector industry rotation analysis tool that I use. Using this I can look at the sectors rotating even in real-time. The zero-day percentage change represents real-time changes of the last trading day. On Friday you can see that all the 11 sectors were down. That is shown by the magenta bars coming below the zero line. Though over one weekly period, 5 days period, 10 sectors were up only one that is energy was down. On Friday all the sectors were down. That is another reason apart from the bearish headwinds appearing in market ETFs to be cautious and apply trailing stop on any existing long position you may have. If you think that the market is overbought and it may fall in coming days then you may look for shorting opportunities. Or you may look at bear ETFs and try to buy them. I shared such ideas also on my Twitter page and also on the Traders Forum. Here is one example. On November 26th, on my Twitter page, twitter.com, 
I shared this possible buying idea on the Russia Bear 3x ETF. The ticker symbol is RUSS. This is how the chart looked like at that time. In the daily chart, it was creating a higher low and going up. Right on that day, it had a gap up open and the daily candle color turned cyan. In the weekly also, the candle color turned cyan, bullish. Therefore, it gave a trend following go with flow long trade setup as of the time I shared the chart. I also mentioned that there was a memory resistance trend line in the weekly chart and wondered if by the end of the week price could break above that. How is RUSS today? Let's have a look at the live charts. This is RUSS as of today. I shared the possible long trade idea on this day. On that day, it had a gap up open. Next day, price moved sideways and on Friday, price went up probably with another gap up move. In the weekly also, price has cleared the memory resistance trend line. The weekly is looking bullish and the daily is also looking bullish. Once again, using live market analysis and keeping an eye on the overall market and also on the sectors, I could take a long position in a bear ETF probably at the most appropriate time. We'll see how the trade plays out so far. It is in a profit. The sector graph is helpful in seeing how from week to week the sectors are strengthening or weakening. However, that sector rotation is much clearer from the scorecard and heat map that I use. Here you can see the strength score of the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods M1 to M12 and then more frequently over recent periods, 10 day, 5 day, etc. Using the 360 degrees approach, I like to buy stocks only in strong sectors. I usually use the 5 day period to assess strength for swing trading purpose. Using 5 day period, you can see consumer discretionary materials are the strongest. You would look for buy setup there. Incidentally, they are also two of the most accelerating sectors. The pace column shows acceleration, deceleration, science shows acceleration. Therefore, consumer discretionary and materials are the strongest sectors and also the most accelerating sectors. You'd look for buy setup there. And the weakest sectors are utilities and energy. The most decelerating sectors are consumer staples and communication services. That is what you see from the 5 day score. How far as I showed on Friday the market weakened and the sectors also weakened. Therefore to make next trading decision you may expand the scorecard and look at the 1 day period. The zero day period changes in real time. Now market is closed, therefore the one day and zero day period show the same score. If I use the last day, then what are the strongest sectors? They are communication services, consumer staples, utilities, healthcare. All the best performing sectors on Friday. They are defensive sectors. That also showed that the market was not bullish on Friday. What were the weakest sectors? Energy, industrials, materials, consumer discretionary, information technology. All the non-defensive sectors were weak on Friday. That showed that on Friday, market was bearish, though over five-day period, market was bullish. If you look at the pace column, you can 
see that communication services consumer staples were the strongest as well as the most accelerating sectors. Therefore, if you are looking for a buying opportunity, you may look at the communication services and consumer staple sectors. As I always say, the sector level may be too broad to make more accurate trading decision. You may go to the industry level and look for the strongest industries. The strongest industries are these whose score is in cyan color over zero day period that's in real time. Some of these industries were weak for a long time for example household products also integrated oil and gas also consumer finance. You may find several other industries like this which were weak for a long time the score was in magenta color and now they are turning into strength. These are the industries that may give you the best buying opportunities in fundamentally strong stocks just as the industries are turning from weakness to strength. Let me summarize. In the previous market roundup, I suggested caution that was based on two factors. One was that several of the market ETFs displayed indecisive shaped candle at the very top and also the sector strength weakened. At the same time, I mentioned that there was no shorting opportunity yet because the market was bullish overall. Then this week, the market went up further. Over weekly period, the market level analysis shows strength. The sectors were also bullish over 5 days period. However, on Friday, 3 of the 4 market ETFs displayed headwind possible reversal signal. There is no headwind short trade setup. Therefore, you would not need to exit any long position. You may apply trailing stock to protect profit in any existing long position you may have. The sector level also shows weakness on Friday. The defensive sectors gain and the non-defensive sectors weaken. All the sectors were down on Friday. You may decide your next trade based on how the market moves next week. In whichever direction it moves using the 360 degrees approach where you align the market, sector, industry, fundamental and technical forces, you are always able to find low risk, high probability trading opportunities. And I regularly share such 360 degrees trading ideas on my traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on the twitter page twitter.com sagarnandi that is all that i plan to share in today's session thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in my next session have a great week and trade profitably